New tonight, this former CU football player accused of stealing a car and then beating a man who tried to get it back. Only on 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger speaking with the car owner. And Marshall joins us live near the CU Boulder campus where this incident happened. Marshall? And Alex Warden and her boyfriend Ryan walking on 16th Street here this weekend, just two blocks from CU's campus at the bottom of the street. They couldn't find her car. At first, Alex thought it had been towed. Then she watched someone drive it right up to her. This photo taken just before Alex and her boyfriend Ryan came back to the hill in Boulder this weekend to find her black Jetta gone. We heard some music playing coming out of nowhere. It seemed to be coming from a house, but it was my phone on the ground. Alex and Ryan spoke with me via webcam from a trip in the mountains. Finding her cell phone on 16th Street is how Alex knew her car was stolen. Minutes later, as the two crossed the street, her car drove right up to her. What are you doing? I asked him. And he said, uh, I'm trying to let you cross the street because he didn't put two and two together that I was the owner of the car he just stole. She IDs the driver as this man, 20-year-old Davian Payne, a former CU buff running back kicked off the team this past spring. I had my hand on uh, the handle. He started to drive the way, and then... And then uh, I just jumped in through the passenger window. As the car drove down 16th, Ryan says he was punched about 20 times. Started screaming at me, I'm going to shoot you, I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to kill you. Get out of my car. The fight ended with Payne running off, but police caught him. Ryan now has a black eye and a broken larynx. He needed surgery, four titanium plates, and eight screws in his throat. But he got his girlfriend's car back. I can't believe this idiot just came back to the scene of the crime. It wasn't the first time officers made contact with Payne that night. Just two blocks up this road, about an hour before that, an officer stopped him after checking on reports of a man trying to open car doors. The officer didn't find anything suspicious. He ran Payne's ID and let him go. That officer then helping arrest him an hour later on suspicion of stealing a car. Reporting live in Boulder, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.